So you want to get into deep fakes, but you don't have the hardware or the time or the knowledge to get into something like deep face lab. Well, I'm going to be showing you a service that you can use just one single image and create a deep fake video. Let's jump straight into it. So the service I'll be showing you today is a service called SimSwap. SimSwap is a very, very simple, very easy deep fake video creator that is 100% free. And all you need is a Google account because you have to access the Google Drive features. This is completely free. It's on GitHub. I'm going to put the link in the video and the link is also in the description for you. So if you want to head over there and I'm going to show you exactly step by step what to do to create your first video. So once you are here, you want to be scrolling down past all of this and you want to click where it says collab demo. Okay, so you want to click there. And you get this very confusing, very long code. But don't worry, we don't have to edit much of it. We do have to edit a tiny bit, but that's fine. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we're logged in which we are and we want to make sure that we are connected so once you're logged into your Google account just click connect and it will say allocating connecting and if you give it a little moment initializing and then connected it's as simple as that that's step one done okay and that connects to the Google hardware and Google storage facility and their servers so you can use their servers for a short period of time it's about 12 hours you can use their service for so if you're making large large videos this is going to be a bit more time consuming for you if it's especially if it's over 12 hours of video then you're going to have to sort of put it in chunks but uh, we're only going to be doing a very short video I'm going to be showing you the video that I'm going to be attempting this on because it doesn't always turn out like amazingly well but sometimes it's it's quite possible for considering only one image is used it's pretty cool so just follow with me it's going to be very very simple you want to go down to this first part here that says make sure you are using a runtime with GPU uh, is as you can check at runtime change runtime types in the top bar it, it's fine you you know you go over to you go up to runtime up here you can do change runtime type and just make sure that you're on GPU. Um, or, yeah, GPU. GPU. Just keep it on that and click Save. Because it does state, make sure you're on GPU. So then you click this little arrow here, which is like a Go arrow. You can tell which ones you need to click on. Because some say X and some just have a Play button. So just click the Play button. And then click Run Anyway. Now what you're going to be doing is waiting until a little tick appears. This could take a little bit longer on your machine or it could take a little bit quicker depending on your internet. And depending on if you've already done this before, I have done this before, so it may be a little quicker for me, I'm not sure. Um, but then scroll down to the next one, which is installation. And once again, the little play button. So we'll click play and we'll let that do its thing. Uh, this next one here, which is pip install. And let's hit play on that one. I can, you can scroll down and up and down while it's doing that. As you can see, it's doing a lot of stuff. What's very cool is if you scroll down, you still get to see this little icon to let you know whether or not you, you're ready to click the next thing. And as you can see, you've got a tick there. So this one now is play. So import OS, it says there, play. And then down to this one, Google Drive downloader, click play. Okay, so that one's now done. So that one didn't take too long, even though it was quite a big file. It was, uh, how does it say how long, how big that file was? 731 megs. So, okay, but remember, this isn't downloading to your computer. It's downloading to the Google Drive storage, which is very, very cool. So now uh, you can click this one here underneath, and this one shouldn't take too long. It's down it downloads something called Antelope, which is needed for the, the training process, I believe. I don't know too much about it. Like, I, I don't read papers and stuff like that. I just kind of try it and see how it works. And so now we've got in, uh, inference, which is uh, play. And uh, we're going down to this one here where it says transformer. And we'll click play. Okay, that one was very quick. Right, so before you click play on the next one, we do have to now do something different. So over on the left hand side here you have a little files icon. Click files and open up SimSwap 
and for the demo the files are all in this little folder here called demo file and it will be ironman.jpg and uh, multi people 1080p mp4 as you can see here Iron Man and what this basically means is it's going to try and take this face and put it on this video very simple but of course we've got different videos so I'm going to play a video here so this is the video that I'm going to be trying to put a face onto um, it's a, just a very quick video I thought it'd be quite funny because I plan to put this face on the video, but I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know how it's going to work out. There's still a lot of things that you have to remember when you're doing this, and you still have to pick a face and a body type that kind of works together, otherwise it looks a bit odd. You're not going to get the quality of, say, like the big YouTubers and movie studios, etc., like I was saying. Um... It is more just something you can have fun with and you know you could still produce stuff that looks pretty cool so we're going to be trying this and I hope that it works for you guys because um, it's going to be quite funny I feel so I'm going to upload the files that I need to the Google Drive now this is very simple you just click this little icon here where it says upload to session storage and that will open up you know basically just a usual file explorer I've already navigated to the folder that I need so I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to click open and you've got to click OK uh, one thing to remember the screen that I just clicked OK on was basically just a warning to say that once you close your window down or once 12 hours is up and the session ends any file that you upload to that server will be deleted. Now, of course, you've still got your originals on your computer, so it doesn't matter too much, so you can, re you can reuse them anyway. And once the result is done on this, and uh, hopefully it looks good, we're going to be able to download our result anyway, so that's not too bad. Now, something else to remember is this is a demo, so it does produce a watermark over your videos, but there is a way around that. If you have Photoshop or GIMP or an online editor of any kind, what you can do is you can go over to this section here and you'll see it like this. It will say Sim Swap Logo. Now, this is where all our files are. You can just click the little arrow and the little hamburger menu here and click download that will download it to your computer okay so I've got my Photoshop up I'm going to drag that file in that downloaded uh, this is the SimSwap logo PNG and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a completely transparent PNG and I'm going to save and that's it that's all I'm going to do and then I can go to upload and I can upload that file and I don't think you can copy it over you have to de uh, delete the original there and then you can move that into SimSwap so now when it produces the video it will just produce with a transparent PNG so you don't actually get a watermark which is pretty cool so next is the most important part really is when you upload files to your Google Drive they'll put them right at the bottom here but you can access them you can change these uh, destinations but I'm going to keep everything in the demo file folder just to make life a bit easier so I'm just going to click and hold my left mouse button and I'm going to drag dest.mp4 which is my video that I just uploaded and you kind of just go to the top here and it will scroll for you and I'm going to put that in demo file folder and the same with mrbean.png demo file okay so now they're in there I can come over to this section and I can click and just with my keyboard type in the new file name which is mrbean.png and the video file, uh, file that we're going to go to is called dest.mp4 so there's desk.mp4 and then the next step is just to click play just like we did before now this sometimes can take a while because what this section does is it will try and extract every frame of the video and then overlay Mr Bean's face on it and align it and make it look cool and then pull it all the video back together again so this could take a while so I'm going to cut it but just bear in mind that it can take 
10, 20, 30 minutes sometimes to do this. But remember, it's not using your PC hardware. So if you still wanted to play a game or if you still wanted to do something else and have this running in the background, you could. And it won't be any performance difference um, for your hardware, which is an awesome way of doing it. Unlike usual ways of doing deep fakes where you have to run hardware for hours and hours to get a good result. This one you don't have to, but of course the result isn't going to be as crisp as some of the ones you see out there. But we're going to click play and we're going to see how it goes and I'll be with you again in a second. Okay, so the script has finished running. It's been 18 minutes and 51 seconds in total, which isn't too bad. But you have to bear in mind that the video that we're using this on is only 15 seconds in length. So if you're rounding this off to say 20 minutes per 15 seconds, that's quite a long time to wait, but you have to keep in mind that this is only using one image. The training isn't going to be as intensive as say Deep Face Lab. Deep Face Lab can take hours for just a minute of video. So I think taking 18 minutes 51 seconds for 15 seconds isn't too bad when you actually really think about it. Now of course this could differ depending on the quality of your video. The video I downloaded was full HD, so the quality is good, but I think if you're using maybe something from TikTok, if you plan to take a video from TikTok and put somebody else's face on it, the very short videos, the quality isn't always the best, so it might be a little bit quicker. But yeah, so 18 minutes, 51 seconds, and we have a result. Now, I have not seen this result. I'm going to be watching this with you, so we'll see how this looks. Um, we're going to go over to this left-hand side, and we have a folder called Output. And in output, there will be a demo.mp4. You can click the hamburger menu and click download. And that will download it to your computer. And there we have it there. And yeah, I'm going to play it and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> that actually looks really good. That looks really good for one photo. Oh well, wow. actually the watermark didn't quite work there. It kind of made it green. So yeah, I don't know why that has happened. It's worked for me in the past that, but yeah, either way, I think this looks amazing. <laughs> wow, actually, you know, that is that has worked out way better than I expected. I mean, if you look at that, you could see, you can tell that's Mr. Bean, right? You can tell, you can tell that's... Rowan Atkinson. I think what I really like about this is if I pause this, when he looks down, like considering that the script didn't have any information whatsoever about profile shots with faces, foreheads, hair, anything, well not hair, but anything else, that's actually done a really, really good job. I am so impressed with that. Like, I'm so glad that's worked out good for you guys. One, I'm going to show you a little trick actually as well. Uh, that you can do to try and get rid of some of these watermarks. Uh, I'm going to use Camtasia Studio for this. So, but you, but it, it will work in a lot of uh, video editors. But I'm going to show you a little tip of getting rid of that watermark if for some reason it's done that, which I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you that little trick now, and that this this will just make it look so much better. Okay, so what we have here is a new Camtasia window. Now, once again, this is going to differ, obviously, for you know, depending on what video editor you're using. But some video editors call this overlay. I, on here, it's called the crop tool or crop. Yeah, crop tool. So what I'll be doing is I'll be bringing in demo. And I'll be bringing in the original destination video. So we've got the demo here, okay? And we've got the original destination video. Now it looks like they're identical, which is cool. So I'm now going to be using the crop tool and I'm going to drag the top video. And now you can see there's the watermark. So I'm just going to drag it there. And then when you uncrop, you it's gone because what it's actually done is it's actually taking the top part of the video, the original, and overlaying it onto the demo. So if I move that, you can see the watermark appear. But as I push it back, you'll see that 
obviously if you you got to make sure that the videos are aligned because otherwise his arm will be playing at a different speed or a different position but there you go so that actually makes it look very very clean very crisp and you could in fairness even do that with the original watermark without having to try and remove it like I showed you earlier uh, you could just export the result and then overlap a bit the original but you may not always be able to do that because you know for example there could be a bit of a face down there that you've changed and obviously you don't want the original face overlapping the uh, the one that you've created um, but as you can see I mean this looks pretty cool and then all you'd have to do is you, you know you just have to export it however way you want and you'll get the edited video but without the watermark so that is one way that you could do it and i know that um i think it's keen master or kind master the the mobile app can do this and i know a lot of the other online video editors and a, any other paid video editor will be able to do this i'm i imagine uh, but that, i can only talk about camtasia because this is the one that i use and i'm using a version i think it's quite an old version now yeah, 2019. So it's quite an old version. I don't really need to uh, use any any newer version. This does everything I need. So yeah, so that's one way that you can do it and get rid of the watermark. Let's just play this again. I love how that looks. I love the way that they've, they've matched the skin tone as well. That's very, very cool. So anyway, yeah, so that's that. I hope that this has been in some way informative and uh, it's encouraged you to go and just have a bit of fun and have a play with some deep fakes. Remember to be responsible when using this kind of uh, technology. You know, I like it for a bit of fun and just a, a bit of a laugh, but uh, of course it could be used wrongly but um, this video isn't about that it's just about having some fun um, and just um, seeing your creations you know I'd love for you to link some of your creations if you put any on your YouTube channels feel free to put them in the comments I'd love to check them out um, so yeah I hope this has been uh, useful for you thank you for watching um, I don't normally like doing the whole subscribe and comment type of thing but hey if you want to feel free it all helps so uh, thanks very much Cheers.